back uh, in the city. We've been uh, there in our hometown of Boonville, North Carolina. Amen. It's been some time with my mom. We thank God for the prayers of the saints, the prayers of the righteous. I know they have built much. If anybody's sick, praise God. Amen. The prayer of faith will raise them up. Now, praise God, just before we go into our word, let's put our hands together again and give God thanks for our trip to the church. And then go forth and get ready for the church of the Lord. And God bless you. Mr. Morris, our new pastor, is a sister, praise God, Mr. Beery, amen, assisted by, praise God, our teenagers, amen, Maya, amen, my son, amen, Christopher Bruce, amen. We just thank God for them enjoying Children Church, amen, and taking care of our young people, amen, as we enjoy the Lord here, praise God, in our regular service. All right, now, we want to talk to you, amen, um, uh, real briefly, amen, on how to be, to be unshakable. There's so much happening now, and I'm pretty sure when many of you woke up uh, uh, last Wednesday, a couple of weeks ago, praise God, and, and uh, Donald Trump has, uh, was elected president, amen, uh, you can, it was shaky. Amen. How do you know, amen? People have been protesting, people have been uh, going against, people saying he's not our president, uh, uh, based, based primarily because of his own acting, his own words, and his own conduct. So amen. I say amen. 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 But we got to thrive no matter what hit us. No matter what come our way, we're going to try. But then, too, uh, the question comes up, amen, what we're going to talk to you about today is, will you stand strong for God publicly? Amen. Will you stand strong for God, even when you got to stand out in the public and you're not behind and confined in the walls of the church? Amen. Somebody amen. say amen. amen. Because, amen, uh, uh, Mother uh, uh, called amen, a lot of people are saved in the church. Amen. amen. In the four walls of the church. Yeah. Church yeah. building. Yeah. Amen. Because we know believers make up the church, right? Amen. But a lot of people know the Lord and, and they want to serve him while behind the four walls. Okay. Amen. But my but the question is, amen, in spite of what's going on, will you stand strong for God publicly? Amen. 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 So we're gonna see the story here today of Daniel. And this is the last test that Daniel had to go through. And now Daniel, amen, remember when he got caught and they taken to Babylon, he was like 15 years old. Now Daniel's around 85 years old. Somebody say amen. amen. The enemy is going to try you. I don't care how young you are. Somebody say amen. amen. I see my mother call it going, yep, <laughs> yep. Amen, praise God. The enemy is going to try you, and you've got to be faithful when you're young mm -hmm. and as you get older. Amen. In the law. Somebody say amen. That's why we have this thing because people are just in the way. I've been in the church all my life. Yeah, but you've been in the way. <laughs> you've been failing tests ever since you've been in the church. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. But Daniel, uh, 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 praise God, Mother McCray, has been passing the test from day one. Yeah. Even though he'd been in a strange land, and because he has stood the test and served God publicly, somebody say amen. amen. Not worried about who knew he was saved. How he prayed that he served God, he wasn't worried about that. He stood the test from day one. Now he's 85 years old. Somebody say amen. amen. And he's going through his final test. So I want to show you, amen, King God for today, real briefly, amen, the benefit, praise God, of passing every test and staying faithful to God, even though, praise God, you got to be out in the public. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. We do more witnesses for God in the public than we do actually in the church. Amen. But church folk got that mentally tucked around and got it backwards. We try to do all our witness when we get in the church mm -hmm. and nothing in the public. Amen. I, I got a few amens. Some of y'all know. I see my little Craig going, yep. Yeah. And my little Craig been around for a long time. So if I hear her, amen, I know I'm tracking. Amen. So I say amen. amen. I'm going in the right lane. Amen. 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 Now, so here, so we're going to show you real quickly from the Word of God, even from the Old Testament, how Daniel stood the test. Amen. Every test that he passed, mm -hmm. God took a little bit higher. Amen. Every test, he, every time he stood and trusted God, no matter who was king, uh -huh. God still promoted him. Mm -hmm. He still had great success. And so I'm going to take out a day, and I'm going to show you in God's Word today. And you should get this outline for your very own and study it. Because now we have to uh, uh, face on what we are facing today. And with all the choices that, uh, that uh, Trump is elected to be on his cabinet. So I say amen. amen. We got to understand no matter what he does or who is elected to be in charge, 
We still can be blessed and successful because God is still in charge of my life. Give God a hand for you, man. So there's no need for born again Christians who know God to get out here in the public and start acting a fool. They call school the people who elected for to be president. Amen. Amen. He did not elect to be your pastor. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. We got in the church of Trump. Amen. Yes. Somebody say amen. amen. So, so how we act in the public? See now, see the world is looking at us, Sister Edwards. How we who say we are saved just because he got elected? They're looking at us, Prophet Charles, to see how we gonna act. Uh huh. And we cut a fool. You know they don't call the food. Amen. 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 So, so when you stand strong for God publicly, Amen. let's look at the story. Amen. Amen. In Daniel the fifth chapter, verses 29 to 31, King Belshazzar promoted Daniel to be the third highest ruler in the kingdom. Uh -huh. But that was but that very night, King Belshazzar was killed by Daniel. <coughs> the Nini who took over the kingdom at the age of 62. Wow. Even though you are being successful and being blessed, uh -huh. somebody over you, God can put up a king, uh -huh. and God can take down the king. Amen. God can put up a president, amen. somebody say amen. amen, and God can take down. Amen. But no matter who is there in the presidency, like Daniel in the day of the king, it doesn't matter. When God promotes you, it don't matter. Am I saying amen? amen. Now, now, Daniel is now, here he is at 85 years old. Uh, he, he just got promoted. Am I saying amen? Sometimes when just when you get promoted and things like it should be working out, amen. something always happens. Yeah. Amen. Do I have an amen up in here? Amen. I, had, if any of you had a good job, had a good supervisor, you just get promoted, things are going well, all of a sudden they get promoted or get fired, here comes some crazy. Mm. Amen. <laughs> Somebody say amen to everybody. Amen. You just start getting along with this unworldly, ungodly person. Mm -hmm. Somebody say amen. amen. They get fired, here comes somebody worse. Amen. What you gonna do? Are you still going to stand back say, I'm saved, take the fire, hold the Ghost field, fire baptized, oh my, what heaven, and still join my trip? Amen. Amen. Say amen. amen. So, so we find here, right, uh, we have to ask the question, so why did Daniel keep getting promoted at work? So let's look at the next three verses, amen, praise God, and it's going to reveal the three reasons why Daniel kept getting blessed, no matter who was in charge. How many want to get blessed now and you don't care about Donald Trump being in charge? Amen. You don't care about what law he passed. Amen. You don't care about what he cut out. God, they're going to bless me. Amen. Cut what you want. Deny this, deny that. God still going to make way for me. Amen. I serve a God who has all power in his hand. Amen. I serve a God who's what? The King of Kings and what? The Lord of Lords. Amen. 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 Now, number one, Daniel was blessed, so his professional abilities made him stand out. Uh -huh. let me, let, 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 he was a skilled leader. And Daniel 2 3 says, read this with me now, read with me. Now Daniel so, 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 so distinguished himself yeah. above all the other governors and administrators by his what? Exception. That the king did what? It don't matter who you are. Oh, it, it, see, this, this, this debunks this theory of the Edwards word. Some of the preachers get talking about, you don't take all that education. You don't need to know all this stuff. You don't need that. Yeah, you need it. Yes, you do. You Daniel it. was blessed because his professional ability made him stand out. Uh -huh. Somebody say amen. amen. If whatever you want to do, be professional about it. Amen. If you're going to be a leader in the kingdom of God, this is why I know ministers, some of y'all are like, oh, Pastor Bruce, God is doing these PowerPoint, praise God. I'm not you, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I want you to be a skilled leader and a skilled teacher and a skilled preacher. Amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. I want you to go beyond all the bombing and the stumbling and trying to hop and, 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 and entertain people. I want you to go beyond all this entertainment that's in the church now. 
I want you to be able to write this Bible, the, the Word of God, that you won't be up here ashamed and embarrassed, praise God, and go off somewhere and embarrass the church, embarrass yourself. Amen, amen, amen. Now, Daniel was distinguished. So Daniel was so distinguished himself. Wait a minute. Uh, who distinguished him? 